Biotechnology. The current population of India is estimated at 1.38 billion according to the United Nations data in 2020. The financial year 2018 to 19 testified to India producing over 285 million metric tons of food grains with rice production at its peak at 118 million metric tons. What does this number mean? It only elucidates an individual's calorie consumption, which should be a minimum of 2,346 kilocalories per day. However, the reality for the average Indian man is 2,000 kilocalories with a diet gap of 346 kilocalories per day. This puts India at the 94th position in the Global Hunger Index, or GHI, out of 107 countries, much behind its neighbors, Bangladesh, Pakistan, and Nepal. What could have spawned this nutritional gap in the country, despite self-sufficient food production for domestic consumption? The panacea to this food insecurity can only be expounded by the brilliance of a biotechnology engineer, who possesses the prowess to deal with biology and technology simultaneously. This is a post from your favorite education guide, College Suggest. Know your course, know your career. In this video, let's lend our ears to the details of this developing course. With the COVID-19 pandemic, biotechnology and big pharma are back in the spotlight. Investors in life sciences are essentially escalating at the prospect of supporting innovations that could determine the future of humanity. The power of the future rests in this interdisciplinary branch of engineering that consists of mathematics, physics, chemistry, engineering, and others. It amalgamates various technologies to either create an innovative product or modify an existing one, thereby fostering human needs. Are you wondering which course is the perfect blend of all branches of science? Yes, you are right. The unparalleled champion is biotechnology. This course is all-inclusive with a wide scope. This includes industries like food, textiles, pharmaceutical, agriculture, animal husbandry, presenting their need for biotechnologists to expand and involve themselves in research. The scope of biotechnology has extended to immunology, virology and other subjects like health, agriculture, cell biology, plant physiology and seed technology. India is a burgeoning hotspot for the biotech industry. The biotech sector in India is estimated to grow by 30.46% CAGR by 2025. India is among the top 12 biotech destinations across the globe and ranks a third in the Asia-Pacific region. This indicates a promising future for biotechnology students. According to the Indian Brand Equity Foundation, or IBEF, India's pharmaceutical exports from the financial years 2012 to 2019 have steadily climbed from 10 billion US dollars to 19 billion. Therefore, the scope is ever expanding. But you need to fulfill the prerequisite of graduating from a leading institution to ensure a good future. Indian Institute of Technology, Karagpur. Indian Institute of Technology, Roorkee. Velour Institute of Technology, Velour. Indian Institute of Technology, Gauhati. National Institute of Technology, Varangal. PSG College of Technology, Coimbatore. National Institute of Technology, Durgapur. Manipal Institute of Technology, Manipal. BMS College of Engineering, Bengaluru. Chaitanya Bharati Institute of Technology, Hyderabad. PES Institute of Technology, Bengaluru. Shastra University, Tanjavur. National Institute of Technology, Raipur. GITAM University, Vishakapatnam. Karunya University. These are some of the top colleges that offer this interesting course. But how do these colleges cherry pick their students? Most of these colleges select their students if they fulfill essential eligibility criteria. A pass percentage of 60% in class 12 with English, Chemistry, Maths or Biology or Biotechnology or the equivalent. An interview or counseling session is to follow. The primary nitty-gritties of studying in a top college requires knowledge of their fee structure. The average course fee charged in India ranges between 1.5 lakhs to 2.25 lakhs per annum, and the average salary of a fresher is 4.2 lakhs per annum, which means that you can earn back your fee amount in less than two years. The upcoming campus at the Rajiv Gandhi Center for Biotechnology in Tiruvananthapuram is a unique destination that confers students a state-of-the-art center for molecular and cellular therapeutics offering cutting-edge technologies, therapies, clinical trials for cancer vaccines and immunotherapies. The new campus has also envisaged facilities for stem cell replacement, gene therapy, molecular tumors, targeting and imaging. 
A strong foundational undergraduate course in biotechnology prepares you for a plethora of postgraduate courses that include biomedical engineering, food technology, dietics and nutrition, forensic science, microbiology, biochemistry, and many more. News of developments on the COVID-19 vaccine front led to a boost in investor confidence and a surge in equity fund inflow in November. In the five days after the announcement of the Pfizer vaccine, there was an inflow of 1.4 billion pounds. The patterns were similar for the report of the two other vaccines from Moderna and Oxford, which witnessed respective inflows of 897 million pounds and 429 million pounds. This upsurge has enkindled a plethora of opportunities when engaging in this exciting course. And these include clinical research manager, scientific assistant, research analyst, calibration technician, medical scientists, biological technician, biomedical engineers, microbiologists, epidemiologists, R&D and process development scientists, biomanufacturing specialists, bioproduction operators, medical and clinic lab technologists and technicians. As per recent estimates, India accounts for about 10% of the world's pharmaceutical production by volume and 1.5% by value. The industry is the world's largest supplier of generic drugs and controls 18% of the global market. It is also a leading producer of vaccines globally and caters to about 50% of global vaccine demands. This is a result of the affordability of Indian drugs to both developing and developed nations. This top-notch industry mandates prowess. Some of the top skills required to transcend into a successful biotechnologist are communication skills, research, which is the core element of biotechnology, organizational skills, which will enable biotechnologists to be organized in their research, problem-solving skills, which is something looked at by every recruiter, time management skills, which in biotechnology is a must as one deals with biology and technology together, project management, people management, and budget management. And finally, attention to detail. Prime Minister Narendra Modi reported to authorities on the COVID-19 vaccination strategy in India, which are about eight potential vaccines currently in different stages of trial, all of which will be manufactured in India. This host of vaccines also includes three indigenous vaccines. He invited private participation to help the health sector scale up by investing in medicinal R&D, biotech and pharma R&D, among other things. And the behemoths in this field include Biocon, Panacea Biotech, Rasi Seeds, Serum Institute of India, Macchio Monsato Biotech, Novo Nordisk, Indian Immunological, Venkateshwara Hatcheries, Ranbaxi, Dr. Reddy's Lab, Primal Healthcare, and Eventis. There exists a myriad of private industries and government organizations that recruit biotechnologists for numerous positions associated with biology, technology, and chemistry. These organizations offer a good salary based on the level of experience one has and expertise they possess. A fresher in the biotech sector can get an average salary of 4.02 lakhs per annum. With one to four years of experience, one can gain an average salary of 5.02 lakhs per annum. A well-experienced biotechnologist with mastery can earn an average salary of 6.1 lakh per annum. An experienced biotechnologist with 10 to 19 years of experience deserves an average compensation of 5 lakhs per annum. Salary, of course, can vary with the extent of research, innovation and agility that the student possesses. Doctors Without Borders, a humanitarian organization, estimates that the treatment of AIDS using generic Indian drugs is two to three times more affordable than treatment using branded drugs. Consequently, UNICEF and Unit Aid also depend significantly on generic drugs manufactured in India for their aid programs. Let's now plunge into all the fascinating details of this course as well as the work and responsibilities of a biotechnologist. Designing and implementing research studies, developing new research procedures, working with lab technicians on research, setting up the laboratory equipment to conduct and monitor research, collecting, studying and testing samples such as food, cells, tissues, blood samples, bacteria cultures and living organisms, recording findings and analyzing the results, identifying how one's research can be applied to improving human life. The job of a biotechnologist involves significant exploration and intense research to be successful. The field of biotechnology in India is being revolutionized with the snowballing of avant-garde technology. 
the Indian government has promoted India as a medical tourist destination by issuing fast track medical visas and rapid airport clearances for those visiting as medical tourists. This has ensued an upsurge according to the Ministry of Tourism. The medical tourism space was estimated at around 3 billion US dollars in 2015 and has significantly escalated to 9 billion in 2020. Despite the growing prominence of this field in India, reality offers a biotechnologist in the country an average salary of 6 lakhs, whereas the global average salary is much higher. This results from biotechnology being a well-established course and no more a burgeoning one. There are over 570 programs in the pharma field, including over 150 new vaccine programs and more than 170 novel antivirals. India has a nominal six of these in development, while the United States has over 270. At present, the US holds the largest number of patents in the nanoparticle area. This is primarily due to the early commercialization of some nanoparticle products by US companies. It also reflects that the contribution to research and development of American companies is more extensive than most other countries. However, the future is never bleak as there are predictions that the sector will grow at a higher percentage in the future. If you have the heart to learn and possess mastery with in-depth knowledge in this field, you can actualize your dream. What course do you want to pursue next? Tell us and we will give you all the details you need to know. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and for more information, visit us on collegesuggest.com.